I have so many great memories here at Saunders Farm, especially when it comes to this play structure. I remember watching my daughter play for hours with other children here. Well, some other great memories are made at Ottawa area restaurants, and we stopped by restaurant 18 in the market and spoke to executive chef David Godso to find out how they're in a unique position to invite people back inside to restaurant 18. I would say that was probably one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult, day of my career. Um, and we, you know, I, I, I'm the chef here at Restaurant 18, but I also do a lot. Um, I'm also the chef of two other restaurants in our restaurant group. Uh, and together we have about 150 employees. Uh, so March 16th was the day that we, we laid off 150 employees. And that was very, very tough. You know, it was a lot, at that time we didn't, there was a lot of uncertainty. We didn't know if this was going to be a two-week shutdown, a two-month shutdown. Um, we didn't know how much government support people were going to get. Uh, we, people were panicking, trying to you know, you know, apply for EI and see what kind of support they get. And the you know the unfortunate reality of our industry is that a lot of them, you know, it's it's a it's a relatively low-paying career, and a lot of them are living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of them, you know, have rents to pay, they have bills to pay. They're already struggling as is. So to you know throw in the middle of a month, you know, losing your job and trying to scramble to find stuff, it was really difficult. You know, hearing all the the struggles and hardships of a lot of our staff. So it was a, definitely a very, very tough day. So the best way to describe it was just triaging. We're trying to figure out, you know, how we're gonna manage the bank accounts, how we're gonna manage, you know, uh, our finances, how we're gonna make sure that, you know, there's a restaurant for that 150 employees to come back to, you know, at, when this, when the dust finally settles and we get to, get to come back. Uh, it was, it was, you know, a lot of really tough conversations. We spent that whole week meeting here at 18, you know, trying to figure out you know, what, what the next best thing forward is, what our reopening plans are going to be, how we're going to adapt to the new rules that are being laid out for us, uh, and ultimately make sure that we're going to create, you know, a safe environment for both our staff and the guests that we want to welcome back. Uh, but it was definitely like a lot of uncertainty. We didn't know that it was going to be, you know, three and a half months till we opened our doors again. The, the wage subsidy is something that, that has been really helpful for us. It's been a bit of a struggle sort of getting the paperwork filed and getting making sure that we're getting that reimbursement um, in a timely manner because cash flow is is the biggest issue with with restaurants so if we're you know we're operating at higher than we normally would labors because our revenues are down and our, we're staffing more people so that we can you know take these extra steps of service that we we used to not really do so it's that's something that helps we were able to put up a, a nice tent on our patio which helped us sort of get back to some pre-covid numbers uh you know especially in the last couple of weeks but I mean, like I said, it's it's ultimately about you know making sure that we're following the protocols and that we're we're you know making creating a safe environment for for everyone. Um, it's it's the focus has been on you know the guidelines are the guidelines are great they, they help but I'll be honest there's a lot of holes in the, in the guidelines especially when it comes to to the restaurant industry. Uh, it's a lot of it seems to be about the perception of safety when there's a lot of things that you know. It's we need to sort of do better than just those protocols to make sure that, you know, especially people like our dishwashers, they're the ones handling food, handling plates that have been, you know, forks that have been in people's mouths. There's a lot of areas of concern there. Uh, so making sure that we're doing what we can, uh, having the proper disinfectants, having the proper procedures with our staff, making sure that they, you know, take it as seriously as they need to. Uh, and luckily our staff have been doing a tremendous job. The dining experience that we, we, we try to aim for already is, is one that you're not, you don't want people to feel crowded, you don't want people to feel like they're stuffed in here like sardines. So we were fortunate that it was, a, it was pretty simple for us. We had to remove you know, only a handful of tables from our, our restaurant in order to meet those requirements to space out our tables. Uh, other restaurants, not so much. You know, we've got other restaurants that have sort of more permanent booths that we're having to find different solutions uh, to, so that we can make sure that we can fit the 50 people that we need to fit in here. Um, so it's, it's, it's definitely been been a challenge, but uh, you know, Restaurant 18, for example, has been, you know, it's been a pretty smooth transition. We've been able to, to adapt pretty quickly. It is safe. We're, we are taking this very seriously, and we want to make sure that we can provide, you know, the safe dining experience that people are looking for, and they can still come out and enjoy a nice meal and celebrate a birthday, celebrate an anniversary, uh, or just come for a nice date night and still, you know, feel, know that they're being well taken care of, that the procedures are being, are happening behind the scenes in the back, that we're taking good care of the food, we're taking good, you know, we're following the proper protocols, you know, we're making sure that, you know, if an employee shows any symptoms whatsoever, that they're gone, they get tested, they, they leave, you know, we, we make sure that we're quarantined people. Um, you know, fortunately, fingers crossed, we haven't had any, any cases between all of our restaurants, 
Uh, and you know, we're really rolling along here in the market. You know, it's, it's been a good last couple of weeks and we want that to continue. Um, you know, and obviously make sure that like, it, we keep everyone safe.